So what do I actually do as a software engineer? If you watch my day in the life video, you might be a little bit confused because you just saw me eating at my desk all day and y'all called me out on it. So that's why we are making this video so I can actually talk about what I do as a software engineer. Media likes to show this side of software engineering. Notice the laser focus and six Red Bulls. There was once a day in college where I drank five Red Bulls in one day. Those days were rough. So my mom thinks that I fix computers. TikTok thinks I can hack into your friend's Roblox account. So let's tackle all of that today and I'll talk about what I actually do as a software engineer. And I just want to say there are different types of software engineers out there and they get more specific as well, like a front end engineer and a back end engineer. But I'm going to talk about what I do as a software engineer. So all you keyboard warriors, I'm talking from experience. The specific type of software I work on are web applications. You might have used a web application before if you have visited YouTube in a web browser. Other examples of web applications include Netflix, Twitter, and privacy. This video is actually sponsored by privacy. Privacy allows you to create unique virtual cards they can use when you're online shopping. It's free to create an account, and everyone that uses my URL gets $5 towards their next purchase. So that's free $5, y'all. More info coming at the end of the video. So what do I mean by create software? I have worked on creating new features for a web app. I've built a feature that allows customers to get in contact with a sales rep, to also building an onboarding experience for new customers that signed up for our service. To build these features, it did require writing code. If you're interested in learning to code, I do have a tutorial on my channel for people with zero experience where you can start learning to code in a language called Python. If you're interested, definitely check out that video. And also, I have another video on my channel where Sturdy Code and I, another YouTuber, build a web app from scratch. Building a feature is way more than just writing code. It requires getting all of the requirements for the feature from your product manager. It requires doing research on the best way to build these features, whether it's research on the code base, the appropriate technologies to use, or reading documentation written by another engineer on how to use their code. One of the libraries or the tools that I used to build the onboarding experience was React. At the time, I didn't know any React, so this required a lot of learning, a lot of reading documentation, a lot of looking at other people's code, and a lot of using Stack Overflow when I got stuck. Building features requires a ton of collaboration. From breaking up the work with other engineers on your team, to collaborating with the different stakeholders to get as much information and clarity as possible. For the onboarding experience, I collaborated with the design team to not only get the designs for the feature, but for them to also sign off on the feature after I was done building it. Also, before you can submit your code, you need to get approval of your code from other engineers. This is called a code review. I have given code reviews and also received code reviews. So yeah, I have created software and more specifically built features, but also being a software engineer requires a lot of testing. Whether it is writing specific tests to make sure my feature is working or writing tests for a feature someone else wrote. To also creating tests to see how two different systems work together. What I also do as a software engineer is fix problems in the code. Let's say I forgot to test a new onboarding experience properly and a user is stuck on the same screen and cannot move forward. I would have to go back into the code and fix that problem. At my job, we also have rotation weeks where every engineer spends a week solving production errors. To make sure these errors do not happen again, we sometimes have to write or update documentation. And that is something else I do as a software engineer is document. This helps yourself and other engineers know exactly how a system is working or the solution to solving a problem. Privacy has great documentation, and I think now's the perfect time to talk about our sponsor, Privacy. Privacy allows you to take back control. So for a while, I wouldn't want to shop at certain websites 
just because they look sketchy, okay? And I was like, I do not want to put my debit card information on those sites because I don't want to get hacked. So why I really like privacy is that you can create these virtual cards where you will have a unique card number that you can use when you're on your different websites. And also you can set different limits, like you can spend no more than $100 on this card, or like after you use a card, you can immediately close it. You can pause cards. And I have been enjoying privacy. Even after privacy is done sponsoring these videos, I am still going to use it. So yeah, y'all, if you're interested, definitely check out my URL, privacy.com slash mayabello. It's free to create an account. And then also after you create an account, you get $5, so just $5 they can use when you're buying that pizza or buying that clothing, whatever, towards your next purchase. So that is what I do as a software engineer. Some weeks I'm creating a new feature. Other times, maybe I'm updating the code, or I'm fixing a bug, or maybe I'm fixing a production issue. You know, it requires a lot of collaboration, a lot of stack overflow, and just a lot of continuous learning. So that's one of the reasons why I enjoy being a software engineer, because it's not like every week is the same. You know, there's always a new problem that I get to critically think about and solve. So if you're interested in that, I'll definitely recommend considering being a software engineer. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you for the support. And I will see you in the next video.